Well, that's right. From medical students to now medical doctors. 108 NYIT students walked across the stage to receive their doctorate of osteopathic medicine degree in a graduation ceremony held inside the Fowler Center on the A-State campus. And a pudding ceremony, ceremony of NYIT College of Osteopathic Medicine at Arkansas State University. Graduates were surrounded by family, friends, colleagues, and peers during the celebration. For Dr. Dakari Noton, it's a day years in the making. 28 years in the making, and I had no idea I'd end up here, so it might be one of the best days of my life. The ceremony took place inside the Fowler Center. It's the third graduation and second in-person commencement for the medical school, located on the campus of Arkansas State. I couldn't be any prouder of these of these students and these graduates as we are right now. They made it across that finish line and they're now doctors. The class of 2022 experienced a lot during their time in Jonesboro, from being in medical school during a pandemic to helping by working on the front lines at the hospitals, the March 2020 tornado and more. But despite the challenges they faced, that didn't stop them. More than anything, we still get a chance to come together, celebrate um, this momentous occasion and come out on the other side. And I think that's the beauty in the story that the pandemic didn't stop us, our losses didn't stop us, and we still became doctors. It's something that school dean Dr. Shane Spites echoes as the class of 2022 holds a special place in the hearts of faculty and staff. Obviously, medical school is a challenge, and so going to medical school during a pandemic, that's a whole other added layer. So I couldn't be any prouder of these, of these students and these graduates. For Dr. Moton, he will start his postgraduate residency training at St. Louis University in Missouri to become a family medicine physician. It's going to hit me on the car ride home. It's one of those feelings. Um, I'm just grateful. It's, I've spent a lot of time in reflection. As they walked across the stage, the new doctors were hooded, meaning they completed their medical school training and later took the Hippocratic Oath of Ethics. The doctors will now start their residency programs across the country with a chunk staying here in the region. The mission of our school at NYITCOM was to obviously try to train physicians here that would stay in this region, but we knew that our training would extend far beyond the borders of the state, and that's exactly what's going on. So we're happy to be creating a physician workforce that will help take care of the next generation of patients. For one family, it was a bittersweet day as NYIT recognized and remembered Dr. Chloe Vaught, who tragically passed away last year. An A-State grad and member of the class of 2022, Dr. Vaught left a lasting impact. She was awarded her degree posthumously. Now these new physicians will start their postgraduate training in their residency programs this summer. Now NYIT also recognized 13 students who graduated with their masters in biomedical sciences. Sarah Doe, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro.